Welcome to WV Running Dawn, and to, today Dexter and I are going to go on a uh, one mile run. Um, tomorrow I'm doing my 50k, so um, I'm sticking to the 40 miles per week for my running plan uh, for, for the month of July. So uh, I already ran 10 miles this week, I'm going to go one mile today. On Saturday, so that I can get my uh, keep my running streak going, and um, just going to go to the end of the road and back from the house. There's the house. There's the road. <laughs> There's Dexter, yeah, and here's me. And uh, I'm going to run a mile down the road. I'm going to take the camera with me. I'm going to talk to you about my uh, my preparations, my plans for tomorrow for my. 50k so let's get started well I got my gear on this is my part of my GoPro running gear so uh, I'm going to uh, wear this strap you guys on strap I'm gonna strap the camera on on this area here so anything you'll see is the road and then you hear me talking so let's get started definitely not as far as that. My dream. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Whee! <clears throat> Whee! Bye bye. Hey, don't go too far ahead of me. <laughs> We're supposed to be running this together. Like All right. Well. Like yeah, we're all in this together. Okay, uh, for my my run tomorrow, I'm gonna go to the store. I, I already have a a cooler that I'm gonna put my stuff in. I'm gonna get a bag of ice or a couple bags, and uh, for the cooler, I'm gonna put in there. Besides the ice, ice is just going to keep things cool. But uh, I'm going to get a couple, couple bags of ice and some water, some Gatorade. I'm going to put that inside the cooler. And uh, strategy tomorrow, I guess, is going to be I'm going to drive up to the senior center I'm going to uh, leave the truck there and I'm going to do a loop from the senior center down to the house down to Rachel and then back up to Mannington through Mannington up to the the uh, fairgrounds and then back to the truck that's going to be about a 10 mile loop might be a little over 10 miles I'm not sure because I'm, I'm not going to loop up on 250 I'm not going to go that route which is normally the 10 mile route or five miles from senior center back to uh, or senior center to Rachel and then back. I'm going to do probably six miles, so might be eleven, might be an eleven mile loop instead. But uh, once I get to uh, the uh, once I get back to the truck, I'll know what the loop is if it's going to be. 10 or 11 miles it really doesn't matter but uh, I guess I'll be doing that probably three times elevation's not going to be very much but the miles will be pretty close to 33 31 to 33 something like that with a 10 to 11 mile loop so it should work out like that
but I'm going to have my my water my Gatorade there at the truck with the ice to keep it nice and cold I'm gonna get up early get out there get started so I can be done before it gets too late in the day oh. uh. Nice little one mile run to the end of the road here. It's a half a mile to the end and then back to my house. Makes it one mile. But uh, I'm going to get, besides my drinks, I'll get some of my snacks to carry with me. Put those in my uh, some stuff I can carry in my pocket. Get those today. Uh, get some sweet stuff, get some salty stuff, and then uh, I'll have what I need for the entire run. Probably get some M&Ms just because they're easy to carry. You waving? Huh? Oh, you saw a cat? I, I gotta go to this tree here. Now I have 0.50. Oh, look, a tree fell. Hey, tree fell. Oh, that row. What? Rut row. Rut Randy. Rag. Rag. <laughs> All right. Half a mile back to the house, and then I'm done. Okay. Well, just be careful with you can if you want just be careful with the with the traffic if you if you see a car just slow down I or get off the road see there's a car right now just get off the road yes that looks like it might be one of the people from above here right they might turn off before we get to them But uh, he said, I'll probably get some M&Ms, maybe some Cheez-Its, something sweet, something salty. And then uh, probably leave those in the, uh, in the, well, at the truck by the cooler. The ones that I, because I don't have to carry them with me. Oh, not the whole, not the whole uh, kit and caboodle. But then I'll, uh, I'll leave all the drinks at the, in the cooler. I'll take one with me when I get started. And then uh, I'll have enough so that every time I come by the truck, I can get another one, which will be like every five miles, I'll be able to get me another drink. And it'll be, it should be a, a, a cold drink. I'll calculate, probably, probably come by there at least six times. So if I have six drinks, they should remain cold while they're waiting for me to come back. And with a, uh, with a, I, I'll be coming back up there every five to six miles. So that should be enough, enough drinks to, to uh, keep me going, keep me cool, keep me hydrated throughout the run. But uh, I'll try to uh, come by. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll be coming by the truck every, like I said, every five or six miles. Like when I come down, come down toward uh, Rachel the first time, it'll be a little bit longer. So I'll just make the loop around by my neighbor's place. And go back up that'll make that first loop a little bit longer probably more like six more like seven miles or so and then uh, the rest of them I'll just come to the rock across from the house but uh, I'll get me a, I'll get me a drink that I'm gonna have the bottles 
small enough that I can put them in my pocket so I won't have to carry I won't have to carry it in my hand I just put the drink in my pocket because I'm going to have my GoPro tomorrow probably uh, with my Spivo stick and uh, if you guys don't know what a Spivo stick is I'll put a link to the video here or at the end the video that I did of my Spivo unboxing or Spivo review that I did a couple a couple years ago when I first got wine but uh, anyway I'll have the Spivo stick in one hand with the GoPro so I don't want to have to carry a Spivo in one hand and then a drink in the other so I'll put the drink in my pocket Man, look at that sky. Can you see the sky? Uh, that's why I didn't do this run on Saturday. Because it looked like it was going to be rainy and stormy today. But uh, probably could have been halfway done by now. But it does look pretty ominous. That's my word of the day. I've used that word a lot lately ominous when it comes to clouds and stormy weather but uh, here it is like going on 10 o'clock and hasn't rained yet this morning but uh, we're back at the house there's my one mile in 10 10 minutes 10 seconds see that there 101 nice Okay guys, that's it uh, for my one mile run on Saturday before my 50k tomorrow. Uh, it's a 10-10 one mile run. Easy peasy. No squeezy lemons. No lemon squeezies on this. But uh, at least I just want to keep my one mile or keep my running streak going with, with this one mile run. But tomorrow uh, will be my 50k getting my um, Cooper's Rock unofficial 50k part 2 done 31 miles out on the trail up in Manhattan back and forth three loops getting it done and uh, be sure to uh, check that video out when it comes out hope you guys enjoyed going on the one mile run with uh, Dexter and me and uh, let me know what you guys are doing for your next run, for your 50K, if you're doing one, if you're doing it virtually, you're doing it, if you have a, a, a little run that's going on for yourself, there's been a couple of runs uh, still going on around here. There was a uh, uh, fourth, four on the fourth that was going on in Morgantown, uh, probably because it's a smaller race with smaller uh, a smaller amount of gatherings. Uh, the governor is still limiting gatherings to under a hundred so any any and he is requiring masks in buildings now so we've going inside that doesn't allow social distancing even uptown with the dollar store uh price cutter grocery stores and things like that they are they are they have a sign out that says masks are required but you know they don't really enforce it they don't make people do that it's just their uh so if you if you have a place that you have that is requiring a mask please wear your mask when you go in that's what we're doing um we're just limiting the amount of us that go in there so uh, either stacy will go in or i will go in or sometimes both of us go in but we are wearing our masks when we go into those places that say that they were, are requiring a mask but anyway this is about my one mile uh one mile run um let me know comment down below what you what you think of the running down the road in the back uh, with the GoPro camera. But uh, besides that, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Next video will be my 50K run. Uh, the, like I said, Cooper's Rock, unofficial 50K part two. Thanks for watching, guys.